Welcome to Computer Vision Streams, I'm your host Anton and today we will see one of the most important tools for debugging performance of your DeepStream and uh, GStreamer pipelines and also other applications uh, that include multi-threading, image processing and uh, computer vision. That includes both uh, CPU and uh, GPU utilization. So here is an example of NVIDIA Inside Systems. You see my application that uh, is using a lot of different threads and every line represents the workload of each thread and uh, different ranges are color coded to show different uh, types of operations and also we can observe both CPU and GPU utilization. Also there is a possibility to use customized annotations that could even span across multiple threads and will make uh, the debugging and performance optimization very easy. Let's see an example of a DeepStream pipeline. So first, uh, you can check out the code in the description of this video. In the repository, you will find uh, a sample application containerized with a DeepStream run CMake file build this application and all the necessary configuration files are already inside container. Next, in order to profile our application, we need to install inside system from the package. To do that, we need to go to the get started page. And in the get started page, we will download inside system for Linux. Uh, we will download full version of inside system for our host machine uh, to use UI for analyzing reports and we will download uh, command line interface only use it on a target platform in our case it will be a Docker container and if you are using NVIDIA Jetson you also have a command line only tool for NVIDIA Jetson after we have downloaded the correct version Make sure that you use UI interface and the command line interface exactly of the same version because sometimes you might have problems with visualizing results. Afterwards, you can install NC's uh, command line interface tool with uh, the package. Here, it's if you can run your DeepStream application from command line interface. You can prepend it with uh, NCs by giving a couple of additional parameters that will generate a report. Let's run NCs profile and in the meantime, while it generates report, I will explain to you a couple of uh, parameters that will cover 90% of your first uh, research for bottlenecks in your pipeline. So the first one is uh, what kind of events uh, we would like to sample. Of course, because the main workload is usually done by media libraries, uh, by inferencing neural networks, or by using API interfaces for other image processing capabilities. I usually add CUDA, NVTX, and uh, OSRT for CPU operations. Then, uh, in interesting parameters are uh, initial delay which is given by minus y and uh, delay of profiling so here we wait uh, first 10 seconds if uh, application use them for some kind of initialization we don't want we, we are sure that we don't have problems in that step so we can skip it and then we will just collect 10 seconds of profiling uh, of our main application Afterwards, it will generate the file called uh, inside report. Here we have uh, inside report and this uh, rep, which we can open directly in NVIDIA inside system. What kind of deep stream application we are using right now? So here we have a sample pipeline that uh, uses video as an input. Then it has uh, one object detection network and it will visualize prediction with uh, elements provided by NVIDIA. 
In addition, we add our custom probe or inference object that will just print uh, the train number and the number of vehicle. This is a very basic pipeline. Uh, there is not a lot of optimization to do, but it will just demonstrate uh, how we can see all the necessary elements uh, in this pipeline. So first, uh, we have uh, all the threads used by our application, different ranges that will show, for example, here we have a TensorRT engine in orange and uh, different kernels that will be executed uh, in our neural network. This might be one of, one of the sources of bottlenecks if your network is slow or if your network has some custom plugins. You have a NVTX range that is called uh, buffer process and also it provides the batch number. So sometimes if you have uh, some specific pattern of uh, delays, it might be because uh, you have the input stream of uh, FPS uh, that causes this delay. It might be interesting to check if there are some patterns associated with those additional latency that depends on the batch number. So you already can uh, see a lot of details even with the pi pipeline as it is. But usually when you identify the part of your pipeline that you want to optimize, you need to go deeper and to go deeper, you need to customize those ranges. In order to do that, you can consult NVTX repository and uh, for a C++ application, sample application that I provided in the repository, uh, we just need to include NVTX3 header file. In CMake file, we can use uh, CMake package manager to download correct version of NVTX in our project directly. Afterwards, we can use different annotations such as NVTX function range that will create a range here for the whole function or we can mark uh, some statements with NVTX marks. For more advanced NVTX functionality, you can consult a repository provided in the, uh, in the readme file. This functionality can include starting range in one thread and finishing it in another thread. So after you added those ranges and uh, recompiled sample application, you will use uh, the same command to collect profiling uh, our probe. It will generate NVTX ranges and you can go through different threads and uh, see directly which of them have NVTX ranges and study how much time you spend in those ranges. For example, here we have an NVTX, custom NVTX range, handle data, which is exactly the name of the function, the name of our probe. Uh, there are a lot of uh, parameters for these NVTX ranges. You can change colors, uh, you can use NVTX rangers that start in one thread and finish in another. So you have all the necessary tools to profile every deep stream intervision applications. In this episode, uh, we learned a very simple tool with just a couple of comments that could help find all the bottlenecks in your deep streaming pipeline. And it is very important to measurably identify bottlenecks before performing some kind of optimizations. Because sometimes you can spend enormous amount of efforts to optimize something that will not reduce uh, overall latency or performance of your pipeline. Subscribe to Computer Vision Stream channels to learn more about uh, building better software faster. And you can also check the Value Stream Consultancy webpage for other services. And I will see you in the next episode.